What is going on my Planet Coaster friends? Johnny5 Alive here and we are back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's episode we're going to be looking at Gold Fever by McDread, a placeable coaster. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is another placeable coaster sent in by McDread. He says, Hiya Johnny5 and it's Heyo, not Hiya. You gotta learn your Planko man. <laughs> It says, hi, hi, Johnny Five. Just finished off. Finish this off, and I'm really happy with it. So I figured I'd weigh down your inbox some more. <laughs> I thought I'd go back to the Western and try it out. Try out a hybrid. Hope you like it. Nearly 5K now. Good work. Awesome. We are now at 5K. Thank you so much, McDread, for your kind words and awesome submission. Uh, for those of you who don't know, McDread has been featured twice now. He did. Uh, we had a two-in-one episode with uh, Alien Overload and something Fusion, and then he also did. I think my very first ever spotlight was his Nuclear Inferno. So McDread is um, one of the fan favorites around here. And this honestly looks like the most impressive one I've seen so far from him. So you're really stepping up your game. I, I don't know what it is about this, but just one good look at it from a distance here. It looks absolutely astonishing. Yeah, it, it really does. Before I fanboy out on it a little bit more, let's look at the Steam Workshop. So here's, here it is, Gold Fever by McDread. Uh, links will be down in the description below. It has a point of view links for that will also be in the description below come rate it favorite it subscribe to it all that good stuff it's a fairly new coaster january 30th so let's take a better look at it all right um as i was saying this thing looks absolutely beautiful and it's uh it's a placeable coaster how many pieces is it 1400 only very efficient uh these big mountains these big hills all of that just the way he's used the rocks looks a very interesting and then, you know, in combination with the hybrid wooden supports, it really looks like something special. It looks like a uh, a mining site. Very cool. I really love it. Oh, look at this. Little bits of gold stuffed in the side. It's called Gold Fever. That's a really clever idea. Uh, is there a pickaxe in this game? Because you can put a couple of those in the wall as well. I think there is a pickaxe. Um, we got a water tower here. We got cowboys hiding about. Oh, look, he's got a TNT thingy. Oh, that is so cool. So the, uh, the queue was a little bit straightforward to set up. It just goes up and through. Uh, it's kind of left for you to figure out yourself. I don't, I don't think it needed much guidance. It just goes down. So there's the entrance, the exit. There's shiny things here. Just a memento. Um, and this is the boarding station. Very cool indeed. It's a hybrid wooden coaster. My favorite coasters are um, wooden coasters and hybrid wooden coasters. I just love the sound of them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I like them. And the, and the wood. It's just, it's rickety. It sounds cool. Everything comes together really immersive. Crybabies will be prosecuted. Uh, McDread is notorious for his crazy signs so i think he cooled off a little bit with this one um so it looks like there's a block section somewhere on the track so that he could get multiple coasters on here maybe a couple look at that the way it launches up like this i'm absolutely in love with this guys it feels so immersive uh i'm, I'm feeling the theme i'm yeah i'm soaking it all up so I think we're going to lock the time of day to maybe 12 p.m. And uh, we'll give it a ride at nighttime as well. well. Let's take a look at the nighttime scene. Ooh, good job at lighting. I like it. See, I don't have to say anything today, guys. Perfect. Really good use of the lighting. I like how you didn't light up everything to give a little bit of con context to add a, a little bit of contour to the outside with the darkness, the shadows, a very nice gradients, soft lighting, not too sharp, not too bright, and little brighter bits on the gold and whatnot. Very cool. All right, we got one here, so we might as well ride it. Um, let's start with the nighttime scene. Why not? We're gonna have to go in track mode. Oh crap, volume. 
It's very dusty. I love it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the crazy lifts. McDread is notorious for crazy lifts. I really like that lift, though. Oh, my. Whoa. Wow. Oh, here's the big hill. Oh, my computer's dying. Some creaking. <gasps> oh! This is fantastic. Oh my god. Mick Dredd, you beautiful bastard. I love it. It's quite long, too. I, a lot longer than I expected it to be. Oh. And the dustiness of it all was so freaking cool. And that uh, that guy blowing up the, the TNT there, you can see the fire. That is a really good nighttime experience. Um, and you got this all done in 1,400 pieces only. And I don't feel like you need any more. Very efficient. Uh, we're gonna have to ride this twice in first person, I think. This was well worth it. We'll do night or daytime now. I got a smile on my face the whole way through, guys. Look at this. These, this lift is so awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm freaking out, guys. This is so incredible. Oh. And the water to douse you off. That is so cool. It's so fast and aggressive. I I can't praise it enough. The theming is spot on. The design is spot on. Really can't praise it enough. This is so incredible. We, we got to go check this thing out again at nighttime. But this time during cinematic mode, I think. Um, I'm having so much fun with this, guys. Uh, I don't... I don't... I've done so many videos this week. And I... I kind of release these. I record a bunch and then I release some and... So I really don't know what you guys have seen this week compared to what I've released and what I've recorded and blah, 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 blah. Um, but in terms of what I've done this week, this has got to be my favorite coaster this week. But I'm unsure. I'd have to, I'd have to double check everything. So sorry to anyone else, but this has really got me excited. Just look at it. It speaks for itself. The creaking of the wood. That is such a gnarly um, hill. This is... 
This is a must-have placeable coaster for your western parks, guys. Absolutely. Am I overhyping this thing, or are you guys enjoying this just as much as I am? Let me know down in the comments. Whew, I don't know about you guys, but I loved it. It's good to see these really spot-on, perfectly themed, placeable coasters. Um, I have no feedback for you. Absolutely nothing. My feedback for you is keep doing what you're doing and send me another coaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's my feedback. Gold Fever, indeed. Great stuff. All right, everybody, that is Gold Fever by McDread. Very good job, indeed. I absolutely loved it. If you guys liked it, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster videos uh let me know, let me know what you guys thought of this down in the comments below and that's going to do it for this episode of coaster spotlight everybody and uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a fantastic day see you guys later <laughs>